friends welcome to another tractable tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to demonstrate how you can fix some color issues on your image uh, using a dark table um, we have a lot of different um, modules here under the color menu um, under the grading menu here color grading menu uh, but um, some of them are complex and it's difficult to produce the exact a result as you probably want so um, I figured there are like some useful uh, module that could be used so today I'm going to show you how you can uh, fix um, color issues just using one module with the color clicks so I've got an image here and as you can see uh, the, the, the color in the foreground is quite uh, warm so I can flatten a bit to to give it a better look so how we do it um, first of all uh, you go to the grading uh, menu um, or you can just search for color correction uh, we are using this particular module and then uh, if you click on this uh, you go here uh, in the parse it there are some um, um, available parse it like um, uh, you will get them by default so here as you can see we have different uh, color tone uh, we have cooling filter, warm tone, warming filter. So you can just apply any of them depending on your image and what result you want. So let's say we are cooling down this image a bit. As you can see that, that this part has been affected and it looks slightly better. It's not, it doesn't look as uh, saturated as it now when I use this particular filter. Um, and then I also um, uh, used another another um, a module here to work on the blue as well, uh, and that is um, color zone module. And I have a separate video on how you can use color zones module. You can have a look. So I'm just going uh, to show you the result of using this module as well. As you can see, uh, if I deactivate this module. Um, then it looks way bluer here uh, but I toned down the blue um, I worked on the uh, lightness saturation and that that's how I put down the uh, the blue effect here and I got a better maybe balanced um, color in this picture by just using two of this module so I just wanted to show you guys that you don't need to use many modules and you don't need to go through all these color grading modules. It depends what kind of color grading we're doing. So sometimes um, some of these presets under these modules really help to get uh, an expected result. So I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.